I am surprised by the amount of people, yes, they are on this live right now. Shout out to John the Barber, just cut my hair. Please leave my barber alone and stop learning him. He, he's a good guy. Real Steve Rico. That's lame. As fuck. Makes no sense. Right? Um, the last couple months have been a little crazy. Um, you know, um, I apologize that I haven't really spoken out these different things. There's so many different rules now, right? Um, every five minutes, you know, I say hi to my mailman and I think he's going to sue me, right? <laughs> At this point, I think my landscape, I think everybody's suing me. I don't, I don't know who's going to sue me. I can't say anything, right? Um, the one thing I am going to say, uh, you know, whenever you touch success, right, you get all these people that want to be around you, right? Everybody wants to be a friend. Everybody wants to just touch you, right? Because like, oh my God, I touched this guy. He'll change my life, right? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I was, I'm successful, right? I was successful. Everybody wants to be my friend. Everybody wants to be around me. As soon as Shit hits the fan. All these people that have profited from my success, which there's more people that profited from my success than the people that are suing me. But yet, all these people that profited from my success, all the people that I have built out of jail, all the people that I have put cars in my name, apartments in my name, helped them with down payments for houses, helped them with this, helped them with when they can't pay their rent. Where are these people at? I don't see them. But yet, I got all the haters, right? All the Tony Baloney fans that are on my page. You're going to jail. Pay the people. But yet, there's two, three sides to every story, right? I have 20 lawsuits. Out of those 20 lawsuits, a lot of those people I don't owe money to. Because everybody's suing me because they're like, oh my God, this guy's successful. I could sue him. I could sue him. I could sue him. Oh, I'm going to get this money, right? Then you have all these people being co co What's the word? Coerced? Coerced? Whatever it is, whatever the word is, right? To sue people affiliated with me just because they're a bigger name, right? They're a bigger name than me. And that's the situation that breaks my heart the most is how in all these lawsuits, these 20 lawsuits, DJ Envy was never in the room with me. DJ Envy has nothing to do with any of these 20 lawsuits of these people that are suing me. And it, it fucking sucks, bro. It pisses me off that all these people are bashing DJ Envy, Fun Master Flex, Rick Ross, every single person. Because what you people got to understand is that DJ Envy is so successful in hip hop that as far as a DJ, the people just don't like him. And even though I love DJ Envy, but nine out of ten people don't like him. I don't know why. You know, what that, what, what that, what's that about? I don't know if DJ Envy is a bad tipper. I don't know what it is. Well, he is, he is a bad tip, but I'm not going to lie. He is a bad tip. Sorry, Emmy. But, you know, you got this guy, Tony the Closer, uh, making, you know, talking like there's a narrative, right? And people don't see it. I talk shit about DJ MV. I talk shit about Caesar. I'm selling my, my girl's ugly ass boots. I talk shit about DJ MV. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about Jenny Tips. I'm selling a real estate course. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I'm selling an ugly ass t-shirt. And people don't see that, right? They're not seeing that. Then all these people with these lawsuits, they're all suing me, right? Again, before 2023, I had one lawsuit. Now I have 20 ever since this guy started bashing me. Jose the Credit Dude, the biggest piece of shit in the world. This guy's a fucking scumbag. Goes on... on Tony's page in May says, Caesar owes me $200,000. He didn't pay me. Yet, Jose, the credit dude, I have the receipts that I paid you back in November, back in January. Now you go in May and you make up this lie. And you start this whole thing where now all these people are being affected, right? Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. If I owe somebody, I owe somebody. 
Nobody is here to lie or whatever. I owe you. You sue me. A court of law will work the shit out. Whatever it is, right? But now all these people putting this energy behind this machine. Putting this energy. Putting this energy. Tony the Closers does not give a fuck about victims. All the money that he made from the t-shirts that he sold or the badges, he is not donating to victims. He's not giving them money. He's just in it for the clicks. Just like everybody else, right? So all these people are feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. Oh, I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I got locked up. I'm still here, right? So now I'm here. And guess what, you fucking geniuses? That you all want me seeing get charged and get locked up. Now the government is involved. Now the government is going to come in and say, we're staying all these lawsuits till your criminal proceedings are done. So guess what? From a year to two years to getting paid, now it could be three to five years. And if you guys will be lucky if you see anything. And th this is like the most retarded shit in the world. Instead of having a conversation with somebody that's been successful for all these years. I have a track record from 2017 to 2022 of no lawsuits, no problems. Then this guy starts bashing me. I got a shit little lawsuits, right? And again, you know, it is what it is. I, if I owe, I owe. Nobody is here saying that I'm a victim. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, people come on my page that I don't owe money to or have any deals with and they're talking shit all day. All these trolls, right? I wish all these people would put this energy to actually get a fucking job or be successful at something, right? Tony the Closer doesn't own any real estate. He's a fake real estate guru, right? I'm the real deal. Even though now I'm going through some shit that I got to deal with, then I'm a fucking man first. So whatever I am responsible for, I am responsible for. And if I hurt anybody in any way, made their life difficult, I apologize. But my life has been difficult. All of my friends and all the people that have success with me, where are they? Have any of them come up here and told me, yo, Caesar, you good? Caesar, somebody put online, they're going to kill your daughter. They're going to kidnap your mother. They're going to rape you. They're going to rape this person. Even if they said they're going to rape me, who the fuck wants to rape me? This is crazy. Right? And it's like, wow, this shit keeps on. This shit keeps on. You know, then you got these reporters, right? Making up like... The other day, our heart radio's office got raided. They didn't even raid my house. And I'm the target. How the fuck are they going to raid the radio station? What are they going to take? The fucking CDs? The records? What are they taking? Like, this shit is crazy. This shit makes no sense. Tony the Closer says every week, Caesar owes $100 million, $80 million, $60 million, $50 million, $10 million. Fuck. I almost believe him that I owe $100 million. I don't even know at this point, right? Because the story's just fucking going in, in, in circles. You know, last week, I got hit with uh, one kind of wire fraud. That was my complaint right now. They said that maybe I have access to $17 million. So where's the $100 million that everybody's talking about? Right? Again, I have nothing against the government. The government is doing their case. I understand it. This guy has created this frenzy where hundreds of people, 500 people are calling every single fucking day to see this shit on social media saying that I'm defrauding people and I owe people money. But I don't know these people, right? And all this shit is going on, and it's like, bro, social media is like the fucking devil. This shit is crazy. Like, it just makes no sense. And my whole case, everything that's going on is based on social media. Everybody's looking at social media for and, and this whole thing and listening to people that are lying. I'll give you an example. There's this guy, uh, he went on Channel 4 News. Uh, he's suing me, right? Let's say his... Uh, First name is, you know, I don't even want to say his name, right? But his name starts with an N. He sues me ahead of our transaction is done and says, I'm only suing you. Every single woman that complains when you read them, I'm suing you because Tony the Closer said you're scamming people. I'm suing you because I saw it on social media. This is what people say in these complaints, right? You know what? Why don't you talk about Jeff? Yeah, but hold, hold on. So this guy, uh, letter N. Sues me before his deal's done. He goes on News 4 the other day. And I, te I text him back, which I have the receipts and, and people are going to see that. Bro, DJ Envy was never in the room with you. Jennifer, my wife, was never in the room with you. My brother wasn't in the room with you. Why are you suing him? You know what he texts me back? It's just business. 
The other day, uh, this guy from Patterson, Jeff, uh, his son passed away, you know, RP Jeff. He goes on Channel 4 and says that I owe his son $900,000. I changed that kid, Jeff's life. His father was in foreclosure, losing his car wash, losing his, uh, the dry cleaning place, or, or wash, wash and fold. I changed Jeff's life when he met me. And people in Patterson know this. And I have the receipts and I have the text messages. I helped him save his car wash. I helped him save, I even paid for his property taxes. The first house that he bought, I gave him the down fucking payment. And I have the receipts. And these people are talking about me. They're all talking. Making up these stories. Bro, I have a text message, text message from you. When your son passed away, you text me and said, if there's any money left, it goes to me. Don't give it to his daughter. Don't give it to his mother. Bro, I have the fucking message. Like, every, I have so many receipts on all these transactions and all these things. But people are still making up lies. And this thing is like out of control. Again, DJ Envy has never been in the room with me. In any of these transactions for these 20 lawsuits. My wife was never in the room with me. My brother was never in the room with me. All of this falls on me. I'm a man and it falls on my shoulders. Nobody else. You could talk shit on this, on this live. Don't matter. You could talk shit on my page. Don't matter. It doesn't bother me. None of it bothers me. I'm not affected by it. Right? And like I said, any person that... I also apologize to the people that are still in my corner, right? But I'm at the point now that I can't communicate with anybody because now everybody is a potential co-conspirator. Everybody is a witness. Everybody is a victim, right? It's not, nobody's an investor anymore. Anybody's a victim. I invested in this company, Vision Bio. I invested 200000 right? To give you an example, I invested in this company 200000 uh, it was supposed to go public. It hasn't gone public in three years. Now, am I going to say I'm a victim of this company because the company didn't go public? Everybody's a victim. You know, and even, you know, I understand uh, DJ Envy's attorney, his defense that DJ Envy is a victim. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Uh, me and him were partners in the real estate seminars. We were partners in a couple real estate transactions. That's it. He's not a victim. He was my partner. He was an investor. Anthony Martini. This guy, uh, Anthony Barone. We did a real estate transaction to, together. They're my partners. They own part of the property. But everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. Nobody's an investor anymore. Nobody. So, it is what it is. Bro, and you people got to understand, because all you, there's so many fucking retards out there. I've been doing this for 17, 18 years, right? At the end of the day. I have touched success multiple times. Every time I buy a fucking... I, I order DoorDash right now. That was with victims' money. I go out to a restaurant and eat a steak. That was with victims' money. No, you stupid fucks. I am successful. I have successful businesses. It ain't none of that bullshit. Like, dude... I, it, 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 it's ridiculous what people think. Oh my God, his daughter went to a concert. That was with our money. No, it wasn't. Like, this shit is crazy. It's fucking crazy already. But I hope I get that DoorDash contract and hopefully, um, you know, I get a commercial or something out of it. Yeah. So, you know, again, shout out to uh, John the Barber. Uh, for, for making me look sharp with this haircut I needed. It. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you uh, for, you know, making a house call because these days it's kind of hot out here for me, right? Uh, the whole time that all of this has been going on since I got charged, I've been in the same house. I've been in New Jersey. I've been in the same place. I haven't been running from anybody. Like, and, and this thing has, like, taken off. You know, at this point, I'm Caesar Madoff now, right? And, 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 and it's crazy. But again, I just wanted uh, you guys to hear from me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm here. I'm here to face what I need to face. I'm here to face my demons. I'm here to face. 
whatever, whatever it is. If uh, anybody wants to book a one on one, let me know. No, I'm just fucking. With you. <laughs> but um, yeah. Again, you know, thanks for my friends that are still there, uh, and the people are still supporting me. It's not a lot of you. It's probably less than ten people right now, right? Uh, maybe eight. A solid eight. A solid eight. I'm gonna say a solid eight. Uh, again, I could lose it all back. Go to jail, come out, and get it back again because I'm a hustler. That that's just the bottom line, you know. Um, again, you know, I'm never meant to hurt anybody or make anybody's life difficult. If I did, that wasn't my intention, which will be proven by all the years of success that I have in court and whatever is is going on. This is the only time that I'm ever going to talk about this on social media, and uh, I apologize to my wife, my family. Uh, DJ Envy and anybody else that I, I have embarrassed. Uh, my brother, Lucci Rentals, uh, you know, thank you for st- still being there. Uh, and again, you know, now it's just a fight, right? I got it. Everybody says this isn't a good idea, but then yeah. you should be quiet. Yeah. Everybody says, right, like Jen says, this is not a good idea for you to talk. This is not a good idea for you to talk. Why doesn't he talk? Why doesn't he talk? Why is he running? Why isn't he talking? Bro, now I'm talking and everybody says that that's not a good idea. At the end of the day, I know what I can say and what I can't say. And I haven't said anything on this live that I couldn't say, right? Whatever I said is public record. So you guys can look it up for yourselves. I'm not incrim- incriminating myself in any way, right? But I just felt, you know, I just feel bad, man. You know, you know, I... I I'm embarrassed for my wife, my daughter, you know, DJ Envy, my whole family. You know, they're going through this because of uh, bad choices that I've made, right? Because these are my choices. And a lot of people, they have to, you know, deal with, with the bad choices that I made and, and have to keep on getting attacked over and over again. They got to keep on getting attacked. And I can't protect them, right? I can't protect anybody because you're not going to win against the internet. You're not going to win against social media. You know, social media is like when you a guy calls you over and says, I'm, I want to fight you. You go outside, you want to fight him. And instead of one guy, there's 100 guys, right? Now there's, uh, now, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people, right? That, like, people are just talking shit. They don't know me and they leave negative comments. They leave this, they leave that. And there's nothing I can do, right? There's no, this situation is uncontrollable and is out of my hands and only God to control the outcome, right? I can't control anything. I can't control anything right now. But now I have to fight in civil court. I have to fight in criminal court. I have to fight who knows how many other courts. Um, but again, you know, I got good lawyers. Uh, the government's going to do their job. My lawyers are going to fight with the government. You know, I'm in a fight. I'm in a fight in civil court, bankruptcy court. Thank God I don't have kids because I would be in child support too. <laughs> I'll be in child support court. Next thing you know, my my dog my dog's gonna catch a case because he's rich. Somebody's gonna sue him because that that's how that's how th- th- this shit is now. You know, people around me are getting sued for no reason just because they're you know around around me. You know, and and, and it's crazy, man. You know, and and there's nothing you could do, right? Uh, All I'm going to tell all these influencers that are out there, anybody on social media, whenever you buy anything, right, we have this problem that we want people to see. We want people to see your success. We want people to see what you're doing every day. We want people to see this, see that. Wrong thing you could do. People are watching. Everybody's watching. Everybody's counting receipts of what you're doing. Do not show what you're doing because I'm a product of that lifestyle. So if you go buy something tomorrow, if you go out to dinner, stop posting that shit. Because people are looking at what you're doing and it's crazy. I'm not crying. I'm not asking for pity. You can go fuck yourself. You know, if you're out here to whatever, putting clown faces or whatever, I don't care. I still, I am still going to sleep fine tonight. I'm still going to be in a million, a, a multi-million dollar home. I'm still good. You know, but are you? Everybody making a negative comment right now. Are you good? When I go to jail and I come back out and I, and I flip this shit again three times, what are you going to be doing? 
Are you still going to be on my post saying negative stuff? Well, anybody's negative comment doesn't affect anybody, doesn't solve the situation, and it's not going to help anybody. So being negative doesn't do anything. It's just, it is what it is. You're negative, you're negative. You know what I mean? And it's okay. I understand that you hate your life. You're miserable. It's okay. You know? It is what it is. But, um, again, sorry. You know, this is my last time that I'm ever going to talk about something like this. If I, if I do use my page moving forward, it's going to be, you know, to inspire people. If I want to. But should I inspire people? Where are all these people that I inspired? I don't see them. They're not here, right? So, I don't really know. But, you know, anything that's going on in my life, you can go to Tony the Closer's page and check it out. Or or uh, the, 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 the hundred other haters that are out there. Yeah, you know, any of those guys. They know everything that's going on. They know where I went to lunch at today. They know when I walk my dog. They know when I cut my grass. They know everything. Everything's out there. So, you don't even got to hear it from me. You could just go to one of those pages. But, um... Uh, 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 uh. Bro, you know what was is amazing? How many uh, attorneys and prosecutors are on this page? Like all these guys know everything already. Shout out to my boy Hector holding me down. Thank you, Hector. Uh, Pat, I, Pat, I still got Patterson's with me, so you know as long as Patterson's with me, I'm good. So everybody have a good night. Everybody, again, this is Flippin' NJ. DJ Envy's not next to me. Where you at? Bam, bam, I see you. Look. <laughs> I just, I'm just, I'm just, but, um, yeah, man, again, you know, everybody, please leave uh, DJ Envy alone. That man has nothing to do with none of this. Leave Jenny Tips alone. Please leave my daughter alone. Please. My brother, my barber. My banker, my cousins, like bro, like this shit falls on me. Leave these people alone. Fucking bro, my fucking Christmas lights guy said he's not gonna do my Christmas lights this year because of the shit he saw on social media. What the fuck? I'm still. You're not gonna do my Christmas lights. What the fuck is that? This shit is crazy. Yeah, he's afraid. He's afraid of being bullied by people on social media. This shit is crazy. Yeah, they got me. Ooh, does that make you feel better? They got me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, man. Like, this shit is fucking crazy, man. But it is what it is. You know, again, I apologize to anybody that's going through rough times because of me. That wasn't my intention. Uh, I hope the people that made me go through a rough time apologize to me and my family. But that's not going to happen because you're all a bunch of bastards. Um, all of my friends that have been successful with me and I have uh, put apartments in my name, bought cars, help you get cars, houses, whatever... Fuck y'all. Um, y'all one of my real friends. Y'all were only around me because this guy, Flippin' and Jay, you want to touch me. Flippin' and Jay, they want to touch success. You know what? It ain't Flippin' and Jay no more. It's just fucking Caesar. Caesar Pina. It's just me. It ain't, you know, Flippin' and Jay. Uh, the artist formerly known as Flippin' and Jay has uh, retired. Flippin' and Jay is done. Right? And all these people that came around me, they're gone. Just like the name, with the name, the guy with the name. Every week now, I go through uh, different lenders, different title companies, different realtors, different, all these other people just calling me like, bro, I can't do business with you anymore. Bro, I, I can't be uh, affiliated with you. I can't do this. But all these people, I went to their events. I spoke for free. I never charged them. I've never been one of those people. Like, you call me up and tell me, yo, can you come to my event and talk? For bro, I'm there. Anybody stops me in the street, yo, you want to talk? Can we talk? Boom, boom. I'm there. Like, I never, you know, my, my my brand or whatever, I never really try to profit from anybody like that, you know? And where are all those people? The ones that I did all those favors for, where are they? None of them are around. But it is what it is. That's life, man. You know, you're up, you're down, and you got to keep it moving. I'm flipping and Jay. I see you guys around. Is DoorDash here yet? <laughs>